Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API development using SILT authentication. Inside this video, we'll create add new project API. If I back to editor, inside the last videos, we had successfully completed all about user authentication APIs like registration, login, profile, and logout. So this time from this video, we will start the API development process of second module of second phase of API development and that will be Project Controller. So let's see in action. I will go inside App, Controllers, API and here we have ProjectController.php. So to create API for Add New Project API, we need to work over this Add Project method. So inside this method, we will receive Project Data as well as the authorization token value inside header. So to create any project, if I go inside our database, click on Project Stable, go to Structure. So to create a project, we need data for user ID, name and budget. User ID value will get from authorization token and apart from that, we need two form data like name and budget. Back to editor. So here inside this method, let's remove these, these two lines of comment. So inside this method, we'll receive form data and that will be project data. And it will be like name and budget. If I go inside database, so these are the two columns and also we'll receive the authorization token value inside header and from that we'll get the user ID. Now let's start the development process. So here, first let's define all about the rules. If I go inside database, so to create any project, as we can see, all the fields are required. So we want name and budget. Back to editor. So here, name, budget, and the form validation rules will be like required. required i will copy that and paste it here now next if this validate and inside this look at intellisense it is asking for rules put an exclamation here it means we have some error so go inside that let's prepare our response equals to let's say status equals to false message equals to this validator and from this object we will call get errors method now it will return the application errors what we will have inside for this validation now let's create and one more key we need to add called data and this will be an empty array now this is all about if block this block will get executed when we have some error otherwise let's go inside this else block it means we don't have any error so in this case and this is the model what we have loaded while created this controller so by the help of this model we will interact with project stable so first of all let's read all about the token value it means user id value for authorization token so as we know that to get the user id we will use auth helper function so user id equals to auth and we will call id method now next let's create project object so project object new and it will be project model let's prepare data so data and inside this data we will have the keys as user id name and budget so here this is the user id and this is all about project name not project name actually to define name here let's say name equals to this request Let's say get var and here let's say name. I, if I will copy paste it here, this time we have for the budget. Copy this key and paste it here. Now let's go inside this data array 
and here it will be something called name and budget now successfully we have all the data let's use insert method so if project object we'll call insert method and pass it our data so this block will get executed when we have the success response after insertion so let's prepare response so response status equals to true message let's say project has been saved and one more key that is data so successfully now we have our if block let's create another block that is else block in this case if we have some error so i will copy that response paste it here let's say status equals to false and in this case this is an error block so let's say failed to create project so successfully now we have implemented all the conditions so after this if block and else block let's say return this and respond created inside this method let's pass our response variable and one more thing that this is an api method which needs to call after user login so what we have to do we need to go inside routes.php and remember we need to add our auth filter so let's open routes.php and from this file here we have our route called add project so inside this inside third value of this post method what i will do let's say filter equals to api auth once we add this filter it means we need to pass or the authorization token value will be a required value inside header so save all these changes of all these two files start development server back to postman so let's copy our url open a new tab pasting it here and to call our add project api we need to use post request type so here from this drop down let's select post and this time the api route will be api as a prefix and add hyphen project go inside headers here we need to pass the authorization token value so let's go back to our login api we have passed the user details click on send button and here we have the token so i will copy the token value of this logged in user go inside our add project api let's add our key called authorization here inside value let's say bearer space token value go to body select form data and here we need to pass name and budget so let's say that project one and budget will be 1500 usd so successfully now we have our token value and the body parameters let's say that i'm not going to pass this authorization token value for now click on send button and as you can see error that is invalid access so it means this API is a protected route. Let's pass our authorization token value. But in the next, let's say, I'm not going to pass this name and budget. Click on send button. Now we can see the name field is required and the budget field is required. So it means all the validations are working for this API. Let's pass name and budget. Everything is okay. Click on send button. Project has been saved. If I go inside our table, click on browse and now as you can see that hopefully now we have created our first record data inside this project table let's quickly create one more project i will back to postman this time let's say project number two it will be of 900 usd click on send button project has been saved and here we have our two rows inside our table so successfully by the help of this video now we have completed one more api and that is add project api so this is also done so in the next video we'll work on our list user wise projects 
So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.